Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Lamar 7x14, 14,000 pound dump trailer. This is the DL series dump. This is our new deluxe model. We took our top selling dump trailer and added a few additional heavy duty features to it to make what we think is going to be one of the most compelling values in the industry for a rugged dump trailer. So let's take a walk around this trailer and we're going to show you all the features this has to offer. So start out up front, trailer's got a heavy duty adjustable coupler, it's a cast coupler, it's a six hole adjustable. This is the new Demco Easy Latch, where literally it latches itself as you lower it down on the trailer, neat setup. It's got a heavy duty uh, nose plate coupler. Now one of the cool new features we put on this is a hydraulic jack. This is not a standard on Lamar, but it is a standard on our deluxe Lamar. So we've spec this with the hydraulic jack. So basically, you've got a two button remote up and down. And here you've got a diverter valve. So if we divert it to the side, it's gonna raise, lower to bed. And then if we put it the other way, it's going to raise the dump on it. So let's take a walk around the rest of the trailer before we put the bed up. I'll show you the rest of the details. Standard on this is going to be an 8-inch I-beam mainframe, one of the heaviest frames in the industry. It's got gusset plates uh, below and in the center there. We've done a charcoal powder coat on this, gives it a nice look. It's a lockable toolbox, a little heavier gauge toolbox than our other brands. Again, it does latch. It's got a 20-foot all-weather remote cord. Power up, power down KTI pump. One of the unique features Lamar does, they do the battery in a separate battery box. Uh, underneath there is an interstate deep cycle marine battery. It's got a 110 volt plug-in charger, so it'll charge the battery off a of house current. It's also got a voltage indicator uh, inside. On this we've got a deluxe tarp kit. It's a spring-loaded tarp. It's got a ball bearing for serviceability. It's also got a sail bar. You don't always get these on tarp kits. They do a nice aluminum sail bar with a guide on it so it'll guide back the trailer and gives uh sail bar makes it nice it's not uh getting snug by whatever's in the dump body itself also standard on rigid rail is the heavy duty top rail this is unlike most in the industry generally it's going to come out and fold down a little bit this is actually a wider top rail it's three inches it comes down and then it returns all the way back down to the body of the trailer makes it very strong also on these are the double broke fenders the heavier double broke gives you the extra reinforcement in the fender and then they also do a gusseted return with the bullet led lights on these we've upgraded the axles and tires these have a 14 ply 16 inch tire assembly on a black mod wheel standard equipment on these would be a 10 ply uh, these are going to get you uh, a lot more weight rating, about twice the depth of the, your tread, and then also a lot stiffer sidewall. So again, heavy duty dump, the heavy duty jack, we figured needed a heavy duty tire. Now to pair with that, this has the Dexter axles, and then on these we've upgraded to the oil bath hubs. Oil bath uh, designed to give extended service life, same as you would see on a semi-rig going down the road. Oil is going to be a better lubricator than wood grease. These also have the newer style, never adjusting brakes that self adjust. And again, it is a Dexter 7,000 pound axle. So one other key detail that makes this a heavy duty dump, this has a seven gauge floor. A standard in the industry with most manufacturers is gonna be a 10 gauge. This has a single piece uh, seven gauge floor. So just to give you an idea, that's 3 16th, where 10 gauge is gonna be eighth inch. And to put that in uh, pound perspective, this is about two and a half pounds per square foot heavier than would a 10 gauge floor. So you've got about, give or take 100 square foot of trailer here, you've got 200 extra pounds built into that floor. If you're putting in concrete debris or using this uh, on a regular basis for equipment, this might be the trailer for you. Two foot high sides on this are standard. Generally, most in the industry are gonna be two foot. Uh, some now I see coming through with 20 inch. This has the taller two foot sides. Also on these, this has uh, four inch D-rings uh, on the outside. Also it's got four inch 
D-rings in the corners inside. Notice they put that one toward the bottom of the wall so you're not running it over with equipment. Those they put up uh, where you would need again to tie down a piece of equipment. That sail bar back the back is going to come back and uh, going to be retained by the clips in the back. Door is going to swing open. One thing, this door goes past the 90 degrees. Some just come out straight and then when you put them up, you got to be careful you don't tweak them on something dumped next to them. These come all the way around and get retained. This has the three-way gate so you can pull the pin at the top, let it come down like a pickup truck style gate or you can pull the latch handle at the bottom and let it spread like a dump truck or probably the most common would be the barn door so this has a full height cam bar lock uh, like some that just do the pin at the bottom full height locks gonna give you that extra support at the top gates gonna come open and you can uh, you can dump your debris this also extends that rigid rail all the way around uh, including the back gate so you get a nice heavy uh, rearward gate ramps on this are undermount they're a hook style ramp that would hook onto the bar at the back a couple little details we can appreciate a lot of manufacturers don't put those zerts uh, on those rear doors and they do seize up over time these have the zerts on which are nice they also give you an extra marker light each side at the outside required would be the three markers and the stop turn tails so they give you some extra lights also put zerts on your door hinges and they also prep the trailer for side extensions so if you want extensions on this you just pop the black caps out you can build your own or there are manufacturer uh, extensions that are available also on this heavy duty model we've added the rear jack stands so if you want to support uh, the trailer to back end when you're loading certainly a heavy duty trailer is probably gonna get a heavy piece of equipment This would give you the ability to support the rear end of the trailer A couple other features on this uh, not only do they use the i-beam frame, but they cap everything off do a three by three tube and then a heavy duty uh, hinge on the main frame the Trailer is powder coated Got a three-year structural warranty on the trailer. This trailer, we do option in a spare tire. It's not shown here. Uh, shown would be the mount that we also add to it. Going down the sides, you'll notice the stake pockets where, and also on the front, where you can build the sides up if you'd like. You'll also notice the little J-hooks coming out the side. That would be to tie a bungee cord off to a grommet on your tarp. Put the bed up a little bit so you can see it better but I want to show you underneath the trailer now so again let's uh, raise the bed up so one unique thing about Lamar I'll show you that's nice they nestle the bed frame and what that does without any sacrifice of, of strength or integrity or whatnot uh, they've nestled the bed frame. That gets you four inches lower to the ground. So what's going to happen, a lot of times to get lower to the ground, manufacturers will do a drop axle. Uh, this still gives you full ground clearance. That's still a straight axle, but they're getting you four inches lower by nestling the bed frame. So where a lot would be 32 inch deck height on this, this is going to come in about 28 inches. 16 on center cross members. These are structural channel, not form cross members underneath. Structural channel is a little bit heavier, and of course it is structural. We do see more and more of the industry moving to a form cross member uh, on the bed. Hoist on this is a scissor hoist. It's a 516 scissor. It's got grease zerts. I believe on this there's seven grease zerts. It's got plenty of different areas you can service the hoist system. Notice the frame on that hoist is made out of 2x2, two two, uh, actually I'm sorry, that one I believe is 3x3 three three tube. Sometimes we see them in 2x2. Two two. It's, a, it's a heavy duty tube uh, frame on the scissor. It's not an angle. Sometimes we see a channel. So they do a nice heavy scissor on these. Again, you get a better idea of the I-beam mainframe on these. 
You've got undermount ramps. Gone to a heavy duty header. Same thing up front, making it out of a tube. Also protect the scissor in case you get off road. So again, some of the features on the Deluxe as shown, it's got the hydraulic jack up front. It's got the 14 ply tires, the old bath hubs, the rear jack stands, uh, the spare tire mount, and the 14 ply spare. In addition to all the standard features like the I-beam frame, the scissor hoist three-way gate, and the seven gauge floor with the rigid rail. Very heavy duty dump trailer. We're calling this our 14,000 pound Lamar Deluxe Series dumps. Stocking them in a 14 and a 16 foot possible to order one in a 12 foot as equipped. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.